Hey, Covenant Kids, we're so glad that you are here today. Have you ever thought about how amazing it is that the God of this universe invites us to talk with Him? He doesn't require fancy words or impressive speeches. All He wants is us. That's pretty amazing. Let's stand up and worship Him together. Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord, wait upon the Lord, wait upon the Lord. Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord, wait upon the Lord, wait upon the Lord. Our God.
people that you talk to the most? Maybe your mom or your dad, a brother or sister, maybe a teacher at school. Well, today we're going to learn that Jesus taught us how to talk with God. It's what we call prayer. Let's watch. Welcome to Fantastic Forts. We take some sheets, we take some questions, we have some fun, and we share life. I'm Ashlyn, and this is my brother, Broden, and you've entered Fantastic Forts. Welcome back. I'm glad you're here to join us in our space fort. Houston, we've made it to outer space. Wait, I forgot my snacks. Turn around. Just kidding, my snacks are right here. What are these? What are you doing? They're gummy bears, but they float because we're in space. Thanks for joining my brother and I as we answer your questions. And have a lot of fun together. You should give up. Okay, fine. Our big question today comes from Sophia. She asks, what is prayer? Simply put, prayer is talking with and listening to God. Oh, I get it, because we're talking to our Heavenly Father. Yep. When Jesus was on Earth, He showed us God's power as He healed the sick, fed thousands. Lost the big winds and waves around. God showed us that He's definitely in charge, and He wants to make things new and super good. Yes. It was in His famous Sermon on the Mount that He taught us how to pray. Wait. First, Jesus gave us a few examples of what not to do. Time to hit the no button. Jesus said no, praying to get the attention of others. God is our focus when we pray. God sees us and hears us. Jesus said there are no magic words or repeating of things over and over and over and over and yes. over and over and over. Broden, we get it. <laughs> we can't think that we can control God by using fancy words or repeating them over and over. We pray, but God knows what we need even before we ask. Our second question from Kaylee asks, what are things God wants me to pray for? In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus gave us an example of a simple, clear prayer. We call it the Lord's Prayer. It starts with our Father in heaven. God loves us and wants what's best for us, like a perfect loving dad. So Jesus told us we can call God our Father in heaven. Heaven is God's space. So that's why Jesus told us to pray for God to be honored and for his kingdom to rule over everything. We can pray for God's kingdom to come so that everything God wants to happen is done on earth like it is in heaven. Part of God's kingdom coming is whenever his followers live the way he wants. After we've worshiped God and asked for everyone everywhere to worship him, then Jesus taught us to ask for our own needs. Ooh, that's when I get to pray for a new tablet and other stuff that I want. I know you're just being funny because you know better. God wants us to pray for what we really need. What we need most in life is our daily food. So that's why we should be praying every day for what we need. Also, what we need the most in life is forgiveness for our sins. Those are the things we do that are wrong and go against God's plan for us. And we pray for the strength to obey God and resist doing things that we shouldn't do. If we pray for the things Jesus taught us to pray in the Lord's Prayer, our relationship with God will grow and grow, and He will help us become more and more like Him. These were great questions, so I hope we helped you. Have some fun in our fantastic fort and learn about life with God. Thanks for joining us. And let's thank Jesus because Jesus, Jesus teaches, teaches us how to pray. All right, kids, it's time for our word of wonder. I'm gonna say the verse the first time and then we'll try it together. But God has surely listened. He has heard my prayer. Give praise to God. He has accepted my prayer. He has not held back his love from me. Psalm 66, 19 through 20. Okay, let's try it together. I'll say it little by little and you repeat after me. But God has surely listened. He has heard my prayer. Give praise to God. He has accepted my prayer. He has not held back his love from me. Psalm 66, 19 through 20. Good job, kids. Let's be honest. How many of you struggle to pray? Sometimes prayer can seem complicated. 
Maybe you think prayer must be this formal time of sitting with your eyes closed and your head bowed. Or maybe you think you need to know lots of scripture and formal words to pray properly. You have to say all the right things and then God will hear your prayers. But that's not true. Prayer is simply talking with God and listening to God. Some people do close their eyes and bow their heads when they pray, and that's totally fine, but that's just one way that you can pray. We can listen to and talk to God while we're standing, sitting down. You can even be laying down or spinning around in circles. We can do it out loud or silently. We can even pray through writing or dancing or singing music. When Jesus lived on earth as a man, some people used prayer to make themselves look better than others. They would pray in public places like street corners to get attention from other people and show how important and holy they were. But Jesus taught that that's not how we should pray. Instead of being showy and focusing on ourselves, Jesus encourages us to pray in a way that doesn't draw attention to us. We should pray somewhere we can focus entirely on God, like in our rooms, maybe with the door shut. Of course, we can pray with other people as long as the focus is on God and not on our performance. When we pray this way, God sees us and He hears our prayers. You know, God not only cares about where we pray, but also how we pray. Some people believe that prayer is like magic, that we can make God do things for us by saying lots of words in just the right order. If we do it just right, we can control God and get Him to do exactly what we want. But Jesus teaches us that prayer helps us know God's heart. Jesus says that we cannot make God do anything. God knows what we need even before we ask. Instead, Jesus teaches us to pray in a way that helps us know God better and to see God's work in our lives. God wants to hear about our needs and desires. He loves us. But Jesus reminds us to focus on the things that truly matter to God's heart. Instead of fame or wealth or nice clothes or the best video games, we pray that God would give us food to eat, forgiveness for when we sin, strength to avoid doing wrong things in the future. God is our Father in heaven who wants to hear from us and care for us like a good and loving Father. Jesus shows us how praying can help us understand God's heart and teach us to care about what God cares about. All right, Covenant kids, God knows you, God loves you, and God leads you. Now go change your world.